Hey guys, it's Jess, and today I wanted to show you guys how I pack these play packs inside of my diaper bag. And for those of you who are not familiar with play packs, you can basically buy them for a dollar at the Target Dollar Spots and also the Dollar Tree. I know some people have mentioned seeing them at Walmart, and paying a bit more, you can also get them on Amazon. And I think some people have said they've also seen them at like Party City. But those are the only places that I know of, but they're super inexpensive. They basically come with a little coloring book, crowns, and stickers. But they're super popular with moms because they're inexpensive and they're easy to throw inside your bag. Now the only thing I'm not a huge fan of with these is the packaging they come in. It's just hard for my kids to get stuff out of it, it's hard for me to get stuff out of it, put stuff back in, it's just kind of a pain to use these inside of their original bags. And since this is something we use so often, I wanted to get cases or an easier bag or something to use with these. And they're pretty compact in this, so I didn't want them to be super bulky. But custom cases, when I was first looking, were like $40 for the B prints, and I was not about to spend that. So the first one are these little booklets from So Fantastic off of Etsy. They run about $17.50 each, and I will link that shop down below and show you it up close in a second. The next thing I've used is this little Skip Hop set, and it was $9 off of Amazon, and I just used the bigger one, as you see, to hold the play pack stuff in. And I'll show you that one up close in a second. And then lastly, I have this UB case from Target. That was $6, and I will show you that one last. So. We'll take a look at all of these, I'll tell you guys what I do and don't like, and hopefully it gives you an idea of what might make it a little easier to carry these things inside of your bag. So let's take a look. Alright, so first I have the booklet from So Fantastic off of Etsy, and it has a little just Velcro closure right here, and I do really like this book. The only thing is the play pack sticks out a little bit, but she does do customs, so I know you can request to have it just like a half inch bigger on top and it would fix that problem. Just when I ordered it, I was kind of on a deadline and didn't have time to do the custom order. And I've actually really loved this case. It works really well. I keep it in my son's Sunday bag and he uses it every week and he likes all the options of crowns that he has to choose from. The stickers can also go in here. I just have them inside of the booklet right now. But he loves it. He does really well with it. The only thing that I've noticed is that it these fall out really easy which isn't a problem for my son but it is a problem for my two-year-old and also with this and I'll show you guys when I close it even when it's closed and it got like taken upside down these were falling out and it's the same thing with my daughters they were just falling out and it made it to just where it was such a mess kind of in her bag so my son is four he's a lot more responsible and I still really like this for him just if you have a toddler that's not very good about um, not wanting to put things all over the place or shaking their stuff or whatever this might not be the best option so for my daughter right now she's not using this but I plan to use it when she gets older because I do still really like how it folds up really compactly and it has a lot of color choices. So I do love these. There is just that one con that makes it hard to use for my two-year-old right now, but it's great for my four-year-old. For my daughter in her own personal bag, this is the case that I prefer. Like I said, it's the larger piece from the Skip Pop set and she is able to unzip it put all of her stuff in, see what's in here, what she wants to grab, put it all back, and zip it up herself. And yes, she'll also dump this out, but I only put a few crowns and things, so that part doesn't really bother me. And it's fairly inexpensive, so this is great for her Sunday bag, or just when I'm carrying stuff just for her. We also used it when we traveled, and I really like this one, because it's super slim and compact, just like the regular play pack case, but it's a lot easier to get into. Alright guys, and lastly is this UB case that I actually saw on Mommy of Three. She packed it up for her three kids, so I will link her video down below. I just have it packed up for two kids, and I thought it was an awesome idea, and it's my favorite one so far. So this case you can buy off of Target or UB.com for $6, and I know some Targets have it in store, other ones you have to order it online, but we'll just go over the features really quickly. So here in the front there is a slip pocket that my hand can fit in, but I don't have anything put in it. In the back I have just a thing of stickers or whatever, the Dollar Tree ones that come in like 
packs of three or four or something fit in here really well, which is nice just to be able to grab quickly. Then here on the inside is all of our activity stuff. So we really love the boogie boards. We have had so many of these. We have the 8.5 version. I really like the 4.5 for on the go. So I have one here in the mesh pocket for my son and then one also over here on the um, right side for my daughter. We also have the scribble and play version of these that go in their Sunday bags and has four little color things, but I'll link all the different ones below that we've tried and we've loved, but these 4.5 size ones are really nice to fit inside of here and just have to throw in any bag. Then also here on the left side there's two different slits and as you're seeing they're kind of falling down. I just need to get the bigger ones. These are the thinner ones. I prefer the thicker because my daughter will break these thinner ones. But the mini ones do kind of go down there, which makes it hard to do. So if you are going to get them, I suggest getting the ones that are taller. Then lastly, here on this side, I just have their play packs with stickers on the inside. And that's about it. But it's super compact, and it's the easiest thing to use. I have a review for it down below that I will link, and I showed it inside of my Fawn Design Mini, but it fits in pretty much all of my diaper bags. And this is my favorite one, especially with a baby on the way because I'm trying to carry a lot less for my two older kids while I have more that I need to carry for the newborn. Alright guys, and that is all. I hope this gave you a good idea of some inexpensive ways that you can carry these on the go that hopefully works for your family. If there's other things that you've used to carry these play pack cases, go ahead and comment below and let me know. I would love to hear what they are. Later this week, I have a review coming for the Lilla Baby Ring Sling. I showed it in my Azaria packing video when we went to the airport. I'll link that video down below. But I'll just basically be giving it up close look, wearing it with my daughter, and then my thoughts and feelings on it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching.